Hello everybody, this is Stonewall, and we are playing some Borderlands 3. So, uh, last night, or this morning, I jumped on about midnight and played for about an hour, and got my first Legendary in the game, which is pretty cool. Um, and then a little bit ago I jumped on and played for another 20-30 minutes, and got another Legendary from a Loot Tink. So I've had two Legendaries, I've had a Loot Tink spawn, I've actually had a Chubby Skag spawn. So uh, we're going to be playing around with these weapons for just a little bit here, kind of showing off what they do. But first, let's take a look at what they are. So the first one is the Flood. It is a legendary Jacob's Revolver, uh, eight-shot magazine, and the red text just says, Take Us. I'm not sure what that uh, reference is. I'd have to look it up. Uh, 10 plus 10% 10 critical hit damage plus 19% reload speed. And you need that reload speed because the fire rate is amazing. This is a full-auto Jacob's Revolver, and it is really cool. Uh, next up, we have the Handsome Jackhammer. Everyone thinks they're the hero of their own story, which, of course, references Handsome Jack, the main villain from uh, Borderlands 2. So it is a Hyperion SMG that behaves like a TDR. So I think there have been other people that do that have done videos on it but you know, it is a very accurate kind of low damage but uh, like all the Hyperion guns it's got a shield on the front of it but whenever you reload it it is thrown and bounces around like a TD or <laughs> This one is very accurate, doesn't kick that much. This one, on the other hand, has a pretty significant amount of recoil. So, let's get a little bit closer. <laughs> Alright, so these are definitely really cool. I kind of like the uh, skin on this one. Reminds me a little bit of the Commerce, which was the SMG I got in yesterday's video, that kind of electrical thing. Now, here's another thing that kind of happened just a little bit ago. Uh, is it going to happen there? I guess not. Maybe some cover is not as bad as others. But uh, some of this cover type material like this, you can break down and destroy. Maybe not all of it. It happened just a moment ago. And if you hear this gun is actually talking to me a little bit, it's Handsome Jack's voice. It's, it commented on my taste in weapons earlier, which is pretty cool. Um, so anyways, thought I would show these off. I am playing as Amara. This seemed to be probably the least uh, played Vault Hunter or announced Vault Hunter for uh, the Borderlands stream team. Uh, I went through the list a little bit and was like, you know what? Only one or two people out of like 15 were playing Amara. So I decided to uh, play with her a little bit here. I think I do have some skill points to spend. Uh, but anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this. I'm definitely going to keep playing a little bit. Um, and yeah, this is, this is pretty cool. I do like the way the gun handling feels. I probably need to play with my sensitivity a little bit. Uh, like the difference between uh, ADS sensitivity and time for a fight. But the difference between hip fire and ADS sensitivity is a little bit rough. So I need to play with that song. But yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with this game. Hopefully you are as well, and uh, keep an eye out for those legendaries. Now, I will say I found this uh, pistol in the chest on top of the pile of cars where you find uh, Vaughn for the first time. So hopefully not too much in the way of spoilers and stuff there, but uh, there we go. And a level up. We dropped a blue. Nice. But uh, anyways... That's where I found that one, and then this one came from a loot tank as I was running up here. So, uh, hopefully you get 
as lucky as I did. I, I was trying to figure out if I was just lucky or if there was a lot more world drop legendaries and that sort of stuff in this game. Um, I'm playing on normal difficulty. Uh, but, anyways. Hopefully you enjoyed this, and I'll catch you in another video.